Howdy y'all, around the wheel here, you're watching Isles of Me and Mine, and we are going to go to another screen on here today. I think I'd like to figure out some of what's going on with this teleporter situation here. Uh, this looks fairly solvable now, perhaps, maybe. Maybe if we can, uh, if we can do this up right. So, let's see, it's gonna be pretty tough to gonna be pretty tough to get that one guy off the ice what's is there something over here this is just an isolated cliff in the middle of nowhere it just caught my attention it's like three or four screens away if i press down is that a thing will it drop me to that cliff i don't think so i think it's just there for ambiance so let's go ahead and there we go get that open and that allows us to travel here and also maybe do something with the guy okay so how do we want to do this we want to get that going, obviously. Okay, so that tosses him up. And gets a fresh coat of paint going there. Let's see here. Uh-uh-uh. I'm going to go ahead and skate across the ice and bump him. And see if I can get him. There we go. Point him across the hole. No, I wanted him to toss me. Son of a gun. He didn't toss me. Which, I guess, makes a certain amount of sense. Because, let's go ahead and back up a step. Okay, bump, uh, uh, uh. Okay. No. Well, he's just gonna... Can he ding the bell? No, he can't ding the bell. You can't, you can't have him do your dirty work for you. So, where do I... Where do I toss... Well, okay, kind of makes sense that I would go here, perhaps. That helps me ding... Okay, well, I think I would be able to do that anyway, so why don't I just start over with that? That's a thing I can do number one right off the bat. So I can do that without any special manipulation. And can I do the same? Let's see. Can I do the same for the blue? Not quite. But I can get it going. Let's see. So we got to get across the ice. Go bump one, two, three, four, but he's hiding behind this guy, so he's gonna toss me back out of the way. Yeah, I don't want that. Okay, so figuring out how to ring one bell at a time. Bronze, easy. I can do that myself without actually manipulating anything, but I gotta figure out how to move this one. So move this one in a way that I don't know if I can ever move this one just to my down or like straight across from me here the one that just tossed me back I don't know if I could ever move that one so but I can I guess get it to point different directions which is a little better uh, let's go ahead and yeah so if I do that and I just guess just kind of move him out of the way for now. Okay, there we go. That tosses him up. Okay, there we go. Manipulate his direction that way. And then I just have to do the same for the gold belt. Which, how shall I accomplish this goal? Uh, it looks like I may have just gotten myself stuck, actually. Uh, that's not... That's not so great. Yeah, I don't have a way, I don't have a way off of here. Hmm. So, easy to get the blue bell, hard to get back from it. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, ring the bell, and then have him toss me here. Okay, so now it's just a matter of getting to left bell. Okay, so now... Okay, so so the gold bell now... Let's concentrate on the star for now. My eyes started wandering to the key, but let's concentrate on the star. Okay, so... Gotta figure out how to move... Move him into a good position for this now.
Okay, I think as long as I hit the bell, I can get back to the mainland safely. Hit it, go, boom, across, over. There we go, there's a star. Okay, so now we can play the teleporter game and get a key. What's over this way, actually? Have I solved this? No, I think I tried to do this at one point and said it was undoable. Maybe it's more doable now, but I'm not going to mess with that yet. I'm going to get this key first so that I know that this quadrant is, as far as I know, completely solved, barring any barring any tiles that I should have walked on to uncover like an egg or a music note. So now we just have to get, here we go. Okay, that gets him across the ice. Okay, but that does not get him very safely to that hole. We can't get on the other side of him. Yes, we can. What am I talking about? We can get right on his side for... Wow, that was shockingly easy, actually. So let's go ahead and reset and just head on over to here. Maybe this is solvable now. I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. So we have plenty of holes to get across the way and only one bell to ding. So what we have to do is kind of, let's see. There are a lot of moving pieces here. Uh, starting with, let's see. Will we ever be able to manipulate this guy into getting off the ice? I feel like we may need to. Because there are four Cyclones. There are four Cyclones. And we've got to get across at least five things of pit so that's the that's a highly technical term by the way things of pit so let me see what we've got to get done we've got to try to i think maybe get this guy off the ice somehow and into a position where okay we want to we want to erase we are almost certainly going to need to use this so we can get down off the cliff. And we are going to do that by using at least one of these guys. This one is not usable at the... Well, I say he's not, but I can just manipulate him any old way I want. We're just going to scoot you over and along the way. One, two, three. Bump, bump. Let's see. Uh, one two three four one there we go no i wanted to i wanted to be thrown off by you well i think that's still theoretically possible actually no i would have to i would have to fill in the block i would have to fill it in with the block so okay actually then well that's the first order of business is taking care of that so, let's see. Okay, there we go. Push this up into here. And that allows me to do that. Okay. Oh, are you playing with me right now? Then I've actually got a... Okay, yeah. I didn't think about that. It's not just filling in the hole. It's also allowing yourself to be... So can I then push one of those off the cliff? Okay, well... Neither is in position for me to be able to do that. And I seem to have really screwed the pooch. Well, maybe not entirely. Yeah, pretty much entirely. So... Oh yeah, there's more to it than that. Actually, there's no progress to make because I'm incredibly stupid. Sometimes it's, you know, getting out of your own way. That is the progress making. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. That deserves a few scream screens, I think. So now that we've unlocked that, I think we can reset and go ahead and start using the downstairs to our advantage. But how are we going to do that then? So we've got a bunch of holes to jump across here. 
Okay, so what that's going to do... Huh. How are we going to get... Let's see. How are we going to get across... Five... It seems pretty self-evident how we're going to at least get across... I think we're going to use the block and the cloud to get across these two. And then maybe manipulate the others. Okay. So... Let me see. We want... First of all, I think we want to at least manipulate one so we can get it moving. The best way to... Okay, manipulate this guy... Is to get him... Uh, uh, uh. Okay. We want this one pointing up. There we go. I think... Mm. Wait, I don't think that matters much, actually. So, because I can't get a stable jump on him. Let's see. Well, let's just feel it out for the time being. Here we go. I think this will do it for me. This should create oh, just one, right. So, wait, otherwise, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. One, and then another one. There we go. That gets me across. No, no. No, 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 no. I want to actually go into... Let's see. How do I then go across... Let's see. I, I need to cross the pit. All right, I think over here is actually a pretty decent place to start. Let's go ahead and get this one moving. And if we can get it pointed to the right, let's go ahead and send you through that one. And then back. And then one, two, three, four. Okay, they're both pointing to the right. That's a good start. That is very, very solid. Okay. So what do we want to do next then? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I feel like I'm going to need to involve this one somehow. So I need to get it off the ice. How did I do that before? I think I am going to need to... This might be where I end up using the downstairs. So using this area down here to kind of push this one over and then up and around. So if I can do that, let's see what we can kind of get trucking here. So if I push, let's actually do a little test first. Okay, if I push you, how much are you gonna get tossed over? A lot, uh, too much actually. So we might want kind of an alternating situation happening, actually. Looks like... Looks like a solid way to do this might actually be... Okay, let's, let's kind of get you one, two, three... No, that's too many steps. Okay, one, one, two, three, four... And then we want you pointing down here. Okay, okay. Down. And then... Let's see. Okay. So then... Okay. We gotta be really careful about how we push. Starting now. So, the way I want to push this... is to go okay okay manipulating these two is going to be a hairy situation but i like the direction i've got them pointed here so it's either getting the block into here and the cloud into here 
or the cloud into here and the block into here. But what's the best? I think the best way to do it is to go block here. Because should I not be able to push this this way and then create? No, that doesn't do it. Um, yeah, I might need a fourth for this unless I just. Well, hold on. Yeah, I can't make the block cover up the spikes and I can't. OK, I would need. I would need three of them pointed to the right. So yeah, I think I need the fourth one somehow to go block, block, tornado. Well, hold on. Hold on. This may not be as untenable as it looks, but yeah, it, it kind of is looking untenable because would I not want to... Yeah, I'm not going to get tossed over as much as the wind would. So... Yeah, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, well, I can't even get onto it at that point. So that's one too many over. So we want him pointing right on. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. No, and I can't even get onto it from there anyway. That's not a reasonable shove. Yeah, but just taking it where I had it originally. Okay, yeah, that's going to get it pushed here. So, yeah, I need... Or I need to get all four in a line going this way somehow, which I don't think is really possible since they skip over a hole when they throw each other. So... I need to find a way to go... Don't I? Don't I need to find a way to go... Cyclone, Ice, Cyclone, Block, Cyclone. That would be the only rational way to do that, I think. There we go. That is the logical way to proceed, I think. Okay, so unfortunately he's on stable ground. So if I, even if I push into him, he's just going to create steps. Unless I can get him around me and then kind of have him do me in a direction. Okay, he's never going to reach me right there, though. Um, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Swish. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think he would throw me over that. I'm too heavy. I can only go one space. So I think then the logical progression is... Two cyclones right here, one pointing right and one pointing down, so that when I push into it going to the right, it tosses me because it doesn't have a free space to move. Right, down, block, cyclone, ice, cyclone. So yes, I do need to get this one off the ice and use it somehow. Now let's push this over. Okay, first of all, let's get this set up. This is the easy part right here. One, two, three, four. They're both pointing right. So that's the easy part. The tough part is going to be... Actually, I don't think it's going to be that tough. Let me get the block in position here. That's, that's a stable push. Okay. So that means he's off the ice. He's usable. Okay. And I can go here. Push this around. Okay. This is here for now. This is in a good place to have it. Okay. So... 
what I then need to do is... Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. No, not quite. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, okay, pointing down. Pointing down. That's what I want. So... Let me see. Okay, I think first I need to bring this to a place where it might be more useful to me. I don't want to do that. I think I need it in the row. If I push the block across that... Well, no, yeah, no, I can't push on the, I can't push on the down pointing one. I need to, I need to, yeah, I need to have them both. I need to get the cloud in position before I do just about anything really. So, hmm. Yeah, get that, get that pushed early on. Let me see. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. This might take some interesting block manipulation. Okay. One, two, three... Okay, that's not quite what I'm looking for, but maybe it is. So, uh, 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 so the block can then go in here in the first slot. There we go. Then I push you up into here. That's what I want. Yes. And now as long as I can get him pointing to the right, which I can. No, come on. What? What's the logic? What gets me on to the... Does it need to be... Oh, my God. That doesn't make... The rules, the rules suck. I hate the rules. The rules are bad and dumb and for losers. Well, actually, no, because can I just then? No, I can't. I can't just. I can't just have it toss me across. So what I need to do then actually is maybe have them in a line one, two, okay, yeah, I don't need to use this hole up here. Okay, I still have kind of the right idea, but I think I need something different going on. Okay, I've got pretty much the whole Sunday put together. Now only one more piece, which is to get the cyclone right here so that I can have it toss me. There we go. And then not quite. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, maybe there's some kind of deal we can work out while I'm in line. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, I'm here. Now, what if I... I think I might see this now. How about I push on you? And then you come back. Okay. That's a chain reaction. Now just do it, run it back again. And you should hit me. There we go. There is our star. And we are completely done with this particular map quadrant of the island. These four screen, barring anything hidden, of course, that I am not seeing. But that is... That is all she wrote for this particular section of the island. And I don't see anything especially hidden. I think I ran into everything I would need to run into on accident. So next time we can explore more screens of Ice Island. But man, man, the ice section is like 
freaking brutal. 